You organize your closet, you clean out all of the things that you don't wear, you don't need, and then you're left hopefully with a closet full of clothes you absolutely love. And that's the way it should be. However, sometimes you're left with not knowing what to wear, not knowing how to fill in those gaps, and even identifying those gaps. So we are gonna cover that right now. And we're gonna do it in three easy steps. So the first step is going to be, we're gonna answer a few questions and they are, what do your clothes say about you? Before you run off to the store and start buying new clothes, let's spend some time looking at your clothes because they are gonna be a roadmap to help you make smart buying decisions. First, you're gonna open your closet and give it a hard look. So let's answer these questions. The first one is, what is your current lifestyle? Do your clothes in your closet today reflect your current lifestyle? Are you sticking with a closet full of career clothes and you're now a stay-at-home mom or you're retired or you travel a lot? Are the clothes that you have reflective of that? The next question I have is what colors do you tend to gravitate to regularly? We all have favorite colors that we go to time and again. They're kind of our tried and true. I know I look good in it. I feel great. It makes my skin look warm and pretty. What are those colors? And write these answers down. Make note of all of these things because it's going to help you decide what you need to put in your closet to round things out. Do you have favorite silhouettes? Do you like wearing A-line dresses or capri pants or leggings? Write down the go-to outfits that you like to wear every day that you feel good in. We're not gonna forget about our favorite assets. What is your favorite asset? What do you like to play up? that you feel good in when you wear because you know it's showing off your great legs or your beautiful bust line or your thin waistline. Write that down because that's where you wanna focus your attention is buying clothes that make you highlight your favorite body parts. Next question is, what are your favorite items that you go to every day? Now I know I have a few that it's like, the minute those clothes are washed, boom, they are going on my body that day or the next day. It's like every single week I do laundry, I know that outfit's gonna be on me. What are those clothes for you and why do you like them so much? And if so, do you need more of those clothes? And considering your lifestyle, do you have certain outfits you like to wear for running errands or meeting friends for lunch, lounging at home or doing your favorite hobby? Make note of those things next. And the final question in this group is, what are your clothing preferences? I know I work with a lot of people and they'll say, oh, I don't really have any preferences. And then I'll show them something and they'll be like, oh no, it can't, it can't show my arms. I don't like to show my arms. Or, oh, I only wear scoop neck shirts. Even though they told me a second ago they have no preferences, believe me, when you start thinking about it, you have a lot of preferences and things that you like to wear. Do you like to wear boat neck shirts? Do you like to wear button downs, blazers, jean jackets? How do you like your jeans cut? High-waisted, low-waisted? Make note of all of those things. What this is gonna do is it's going to build a clothing profile that is unique to you. And it's gonna help you buy clothes that totally suit you and your lifestyle. Step two is what is your style? You may be thinking, oh, I don't know my style, or I like a lot of different styles. However, if we take a look at the clothes you wear on a daily basis, I bet I could come up with a few words to describe your clothing style. Are your clothes casual, sporty, and modern? Or are they polished? chic and artsy. By choosing a few key words to describe your style, it will help you focus when you're shopping for clothes. And rather than pigeonholing yourself into one style, such as I'm, I'm preppy or I'm romantic, it will allow you to have several styles that uh, really encompass your whole style. Maybe you're chic romantic or preppy romantic. There's so many different variations. I could go on with this for days. However, I did do a whole video on that. I'm going to provide a link right here with lots of details on how to choose your style. I even go into different celebrity styles so you can see what their style words are and you'll learn a lot about it. So when this video is done, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description as well. 
but you want to hone in on those keywords. And then once you've chosen your three or four keywords, I want you to write them down or put them on your phone and keep them with you when you're shopping for clothes. Next is step three, and step three has several segments to it. Step three is filling the clothing gap. And just because you've cleaned out your closet does not mean you need to race out and go and buy all new clothes. The whole idea is to have a closet full of clothes that work together to fit your current lifestyle so that they mix and match and you never get sick of what you're wearing. And they also work like a uniform because you don't have to overthink it. They're all your style. Everything is the right size, the right cut and it all works together. If after cleaning out your closet, you feel like you have everything you need and love what you're wearing, then you're done. However, most of the time, when we actually see the clothes we like and love to wear, we also notice there's gaps in our wardrobe. Perhaps you have a blazer that you love, but you never know what to wear under it. Or maybe you think, if only I had a striped tee or a blouse to wear with this blazer, I'd get much more wear out of it. Or let's say you love to wear jeans every day, but you only have one pair. Or you love wearing jeans in the fall, but you don't have the right boots to wear with them. These are the really important aha moments that happen when you're standing in your closet, trying to figure out what to wear, and this is when you need to make note of those items. You may think you're gonna remember all these things the next time you head out to the store, but there are so many distractions when you go in a store, it's easy to get sidetracked and forget it all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write down your clothing needs. Anytime you're getting dressed or looking at your closet and you have a thought like that, you're going to write it down, either in a notebook or on your phone, whatever is handiest for you. Keep it near you so that you can add to that list as needed. By creating this list, you can take it with you when you go shopping. Just like you have a list for the grocery store so that you can remember all the ingredients you need for a recipe or to refill your pantry, a shopping list for your closet is going to work the same way. You won't go shopping and come home with clothing that you don't need or don't want. Instead, you'll be shopping with intention and able to focus on purchasing items that will help you build a closet full of clothes that work together. This technique also works extremely well for online shopping. Rather than surfing through clothing websites not knowing what you want, now you'll be able to pull up your list, notice you need a particular item, and search for it. A quick search on your favorite websites or even on Google will help you find that striped t-shirt or those Chelsea boots that you have been needing in your closet. Next, we are going to look at our closet with fresh eyes. Take a look at your closet from a new perspective. Maybe even invite a friend or family member to come and help you with this step. What you're going to do is put together different outfit ideas. Many of us buy an outfit at one time, and that's the way we wear it every single time. Instead, see how many different outfits you can put together using the clothes you already have. And then don't just stop at putting the outfits together, take photos of them. You have a cell phone with a great camera on it, you can use that, you can organize an album of just outfits. And then just like having a cookbook filled with recipes so you can easily pick what's for dinner tonight, you can use your catalog of outfits to choose what you're going to wear that day. You won't have to think about what to put together. You can just scroll through your catalog of photos, choose an outfit and wear that. In fact, you could do this for the whole week, just like we do menu planning for a week you can do the same thing with your clothes. You can plan it out, look at the weather on your phone, and know, okay, here's what the weather's gonna be all week, here are my outfits. Now we're ready for the next step, it's time to go shopping. We've organized our closets, figured out our style, come up with our style words, and made a list of clothes we need. And instead of heading out to a store just because they're offering a sale or that they're stores that you regularly visit, try finding stores that align with your style words. But you might be saying, but Nancy, 
I like a bargain. But is it a bargain if you keep buying clothes again and again that you don't like and that you'll be throwing out in about a year because you've never worn them and they've never been something that you really needed or loved? Instead, I want you to choose stores that fit your style, that fit your lifestyle, and have quality pieces that you can invest in and fill those gaps in your wardrobe with those pieces. Above all, when you're out shopping, stick to your clothing list. By doing this, you won't end up buying clothes on impulse. You won't pick something just because it's on sale and you'll end up having clothes that you love in your wardrobe. If you wanna see more on closet organization, I will see you in the next video.